Hawaii, Minnetonka. I'm David Law, Superintendent of Minnetonka Schools. Thank you for joining us for this episode of our district podcast, Ahoy, Minnetonka. Today we're talking about alumni of the school district and the Minnetonka Alumni Association, which leads all kinds of engagement efforts to help skippers of all ages re-engage with the school district. I'm so happy to have Marietta Jacobson, President of the Minnetonka Alumni Association and member of the Minnetonka High School Class of 1970, and Dr. Matt Andrews, a newer member of the Alumni Association and of the Minnetonka High School Class of 1996. Thank you both for being here. Please tell us what you've been up to since you graduated from Minnetonka High School. Well, after high school, I went to St. Cloud State for a year, and then um, I ran off and got married for four years, and then I came back and went to the University of Minnesota. Um, I held a, a variety of positions at Abbott Northwestern Hospital in Minneapolis, and I know it's, this is very unusual, but I stayed there 40 years. Wow. Nobody does that anymore. I had 80 employees, and um, I was able to make patients feel better, you know, feel welcome, because we were the first department that helped patients. Um, and then I retired last year. Um, like well, I said, congratulations. I, yes, thank you. Um, as I mentioned, I got married for a short time from 20 to 24. My advice to everyone is get married when you're 30 so you know what you're doing. <laughs> um, I bought the house I grew up in on Lake Minnetonka, and yes, I got the family discount so I can afford it. <laughs> I have no kids, but I borrow kids all the time. I think that's part of my connection to the students here is because I don't have any kids. I borrow my sister's kids. What I like about that is I can give them back at the end of the day. So nice. that's what I've been up to. Thank you. Well, mm -hmm. welcome back. Yep. And Matt. Yeah, thanks. Uh, after uh, I graduated the University of Minnesota, I was able to teach in New Zealand and Australia for a few years, and then I moved to California to teach and go to graduate school. And what area did you teach? All sorts, but I've been able to teach teachers at the university, but I, I enjoy economics, business, uh, the, and then I also teach English and math. <laughs> but, um, and it's mostly online, one-on-one -on -one, um, oh. with international students, so I get to travel quite a bit. Well, it sounds like you both have a gopher connection. I also am a gopher graduate for a few degrees, so go gophers. Um, Marietta, tell us a little bit about the Alumni Association and how you got involved with it. Well, as I mentioned, I bought the house I grew up in. I still have the same phone number from when I was a kid. <laughs> That's amazing. And um, so I have really deep roots here. And I got started um, just looking for something else, you know, get involved in. And so the uh, association had just started. And Steve Frazier was my civics teacher at West Junior High. So he gave me a call and asked me if I wanted to be on it. So I've been on it since the very beginning. Wow. Mm -hmm. And what, what does the Alumni Association do? Like, what are some of your annual activities? Well, um, well, let me just tell a little bit of a history. In 2000, these three men from Minnetonka got together and said, uh, the high school is going to be 50 years old. Let's do something fun. So it was um, Tad Shaw, who was a school board member. And then it was Dr. Miller. He was a dentist in Excelsior. And then Steve Frazier, the civics teacher from West Junior High. So they wanted to do this big street party. So that's how it got started. Our vision has always been to connect alumni, but we do so many different events. <clears throat> so um, the first event we did was the all school reunion in 2002 and there was no Facebook. And people, yeah. people were hungry for connections, so it was really well attended. I will tell you we ran out of food because <laughs> we hadn't planned as well as we could have. Now we do it every four years and we've got it pretty much nailed. Um, and again, our original mission was to connect um, alumni. We do fundraisers to help fund for the teacher grants. And you know, teachers always spend a lot of money out of their own pockets. So this was really cool. They can apply for grants for projects that they want to do, and then we fund them along with the foundation. So some of the ones we funded is we did um, art on a cart for one of the art teachers. My favorite was we paid for the copyright for um, the Wizard of Oz. So all five of the elementary schools got to put up the play. So that was really Fun. cool. Um, we've spent about almost $60,000 since we started funding um, just from um, the Minnetonka alumni. Um, we also have our annual awards show. And um, we uh, people nominate alumni that have done incredible things. And then, no kidding, they fly from all over the United States to come back to the high school to have um, get their award. And uh, last year I put Kleenex on the tables because they're, they give really touching speeches about what Minnetonka means to them. Um, let's see, what else have we done? Um, 
That's, yeah, I think that's about what we do. And then we have a monthly meeting where you're welcome to sit in on it, or if you're interested, you can become a board member. We still have one opening, cool. so yeah. Thank you. Yep. And, and Matt, how did you come to come back to the Alumni Association? Well, yes, I became involved last year when I met Marietta when she retired. Uh, a friend of mine had passed away, and so, you know, old childhood friends and Minnetonka people got together and were connected. And then I met Marietta and found out she had time on her hands. <laughs> so um, we combined, and I was excited about some of these things we combined. We were talking, the, the children call it HOCO, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is homecoming. <laughs> right, right. And, but that's when we do our alumni awards. And then same thing, it's been a couple of years we've delayed, because um, all the crazy uh, health concerns. But now we have our all class, all friends reunion coming up. So that's right. been fun to connect with alumni of all ages. You know, you kind of know your a few people in your that you grew up with, but now sure. it's been great to connect with people 25 years older, 25 years younger. So Marietta, I had the chance to attend the Saturday alumni ceremony, and I, I thought I'm glad there was clinics there. I was it was pretty emotional. You're right. Mm -hmm. What are some of the kinds of awards that are recognized on that day, if you don't mind sharing? Yeah, we have like distinguished alumni. So um, some of the people that have um, done that have been CEOs of large corporations, and they went to Minnetonka High School. We have someone from my class of 1970. He has 25 medical patents working with Medtronics and saving lives. Um, we have young alumni, so um, some of the younger kids have just done incredible things, even in just less than 10 years. So the, and then we all also like to um, honor our sports team, so we've had the 1965 basketball team come in, which was really fun to see them after 30 years, or 40, or however many it was. And um, we had the women, the girls soccer last year won an award. So it's, it's all over the place, and it's just a really fun event. It was fun to see, but one, one of the younger graduates who was a doctor who won an award was amazing last mm -hmm. year, and the soccer team to come back and see. So many of those people and their coach talk about the team and the highlights of the team. It's fun for those people who have never attended an event like that. Who can attend those events? Anyone can attend the events, we, so. and it's free. It's a free breakfast, and um, it's really fun to watch everyone connect. You see people running towards each other going, oh my God, I can't believe you're here. If right. someone here finds out about this, now clearly that happened last Saturday, but if someone finds out about this for next year, do they have to RSVP through the Alumni Association for next year, or do they show up? How does that work? Yeah, we've asked people to register so we know how much food to have. Sure. Because you would never want to run out of food. We okay. ran out of coffee yeah. last year, so we want to make sure we know. But um, it's a free event, and it, we probably don't put it up on the website for a while. But And you sure. can always vote for, um, we have you vote for the teacher award that we give out also. So the alumni, do they vote on that. So go to our website, you know, that's where all the action is. Well, I remember... Uh, just a lot of retired teachers coming to the event too to see alumni too. Yep. So what a fun event and something that I haven't experienced in other places that I've been. Yep, so. and you were funny too when you gave your speech. <laughs> I remember that. Good, <laughs> good. Yeah. I hope I was trying to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, in your time since you've come back, what are what are some of your first thoughts about rejoining the Alumni Association? Well, big thing, like what Marietta said, they're open events. So we really try to have free open events like the All Class, All Friends reunion. There are some events when we'll go to a theater or a game where we might pay some money. But for the most part, we like to be welcome and invite people. Because it, it's just one of those things. Some people can come for 15 minutes. Sometimes mm -hmm. you meet new people. Other people like Marietta, or we see her everywhere. Um, so, <laughs> but that's a big part. Like she said, check out the website because people can either register for events, they'll be informed. We also need volunteers too. So what I noticed is there's a few people doing mm -hmm. a lot of work. So again, anybody that anybody that's alumni or friend of Minnetonka schools can kind of help out. Right. And it isn't just fundraising. It is, I mean, you, you, fundraising is a little bit, and you mentioned giving back to teachers, but it's networking, it's reconnecting colleagues. So uh, w you have a monthly board meeting, um, and those are typically for planning events, or what other things happen at the monthly board meeting as we're looking for potential new board members? Right, yeah, we do mostly planning, but we do um, watch our budget and um, 
I don't know, just regular kind of board meetings where you talk about the exciting policies and procedures and those kinds of things. But really our vision is, that we started out with connecting alumni. So that's really our overarching um, goal that we have is to help people connect. So we have a class rep for every year. And so those are the ones that we work with to get volunteers and help them, because they in turn have their lists, and so mm -hmm. then they send out information. I do want to mention this too, that we have the Minnetonka Alumni Association magazine, and it just came out a couple weeks ago, and if you didn't get it, you should go to the website, make sure that your data is, is um, correct, your address. Sort of a catching cover there. On the yes, <laughs> I love this cover. <laughs> this was so cute. Yeah. Uh, uh, great. Fun students. Yeah, that was yeah. Making. Okay, so thank you. Mm -hmm. So um, you you mentioned it, Matt. There's a all school and friends reunion. Tell me what that means. What should people expect? Who's welcome to attend? Where does it happen? Sure, uh, great question. So you know, most schools, if it's colleges or high schools, have reunions. So mm -hmm. the class of 2000 gets together and celebrates. This is an all class. So Minnetonka started. It's almost 75 years old but the high school, and there was Deep Haven and Excelsior before this. So there's still some Deep Haven and Excelsior grads, but everybody, all classes are invited. Uh, we closed down um, Excelsior, well. so there'll be uh, a reunion band, tables, um, restaurants, host events, but it's really a, a way to celebrate you know, our success with Minnetonka schools, whatever age. Sure, and so the friends part might be if you're the parents of a graduate and you didn't go, you could go, or if you live in the community and you've known a lot of people, you're welcome. Absolutely, and as we mentioned, teachers or coaches or all of these people who've supported children, now, whatever they're doing, maybe they're a retired coach, please come, um, and my mother, people's uh, family that are part sure. of the schools. That's exactly why it's an open event to kind of celebrate that. I had the privilege at one of our graduations last spring from our sale, our independent living school for students over 18, uh, to sit next to a woman who was one of the first graduating classes. Proud, lives in Excelsior, uh, referenced the all school reunion, so clearly it's something that people in the community are aware of. But if you're seeing this, you don't live in the community, what, what's the time frame? What month is it next summer? Oh, oh, July 27th, 2024. Okay. So it will be a Saturday event. We have other events leading up to it, so please register, sure. reconnect with us. And same thing, we need volunteers because it's an all-class reunion, but we need volunteers from sure. every class to kind of host different events. And it's the last Saturday in July. Exactly you know, one of the things, just a, a history lesson for the community I didn't know is that uh, there was a point in time where Deep Haven and Excelsior were separate high schools, mm -hmm. and uh, the superintendent decided to pull the community together to make Minnetonka High School on this exact, we're at the high school right now on this property. But so if you're a Deep Haven or Excelsior uh, alumni, you could probably still come to this too. There are out there, I've met them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly, and to celebrate this kind of reconnection of, uh, you know, schools were different when Marietta and I went to uh, sure. Minnetonka schools. So it's kind of fun to see people. They didn't learn. call it Hoko then. It was actually <laughs> homecoming, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So um, as we're getting near the end of our uh, time here, is there anything else you want to showcase for the community about the Alumni Association, why the benefits of getting involved, or just other messages, Marietta? Well, I would just say that <clears throat> If we can all volunteer or do stuff with the school, there's lots of opportunities outside of alumni too that you can do, then I just think we make the school better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Matt, anything else you're thinking about? That old adage that it takes a community to raise a child. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what the Alumni Association is. There's a lot of us in the community that don't necessarily come to school daily, but this is a way for people to kind of reconnect with school, old friends, kind of learn what's happening because there's a lot of exciting things happening in schools. Well, uh, you know, one of the things that I, I want people to hear from this message is, you know, some parts of school haven't changed. We still do a homecoming. It's a big event, as we had last week. There was pep fests and games and a huge dance. But there's also, you know, school has changed a lot over 50 years to meet the future needs of our students. And it's exciting to get back, to have our alumni come back and see this amazing school program that we're offering right now. So we did have, uh, just put a plug in there for the future, we had our, our Vantage, our uh, experiential learning program kickoff. We had 500 community members come back in to be mentors for those students. So there's lots of opportunities for alumni to get engaged and connect. I'm mentoring a student in public policy, lots of fun things there. So um, 
lots of opportunities to connect with alumni. Thank you both so much for the work you do to connect our alumni, uh, to support our schools, to pull our community together, friends and alumni. I appreciate that and your time visiting today. And to you, thank you for joining us to learn about the Alumni Association and on this episode of Ahoy Minnetonka. More podcasts to come. We'll see you around.